Hello, welcome back, guys. Wolfish here. Uh, one of these uh, fears to fathom episodes again. Uh, this one is called Home Alone. I think this is like the very first one. Um, according to the description, it says that we'll be playing as a 14 year old kid. Um, you know, uh, the parents are not at home, they went to work, and we're on our own. What could go wrong? Oh wow, this one apparently only should take about 20 minutes to complete. I didn't want to put this up on Reddit just for it to be called a piece of fiction. I don't even know where to start. Excuse my lack of good storytelling skills. I, just, I guess I'll just start. It was in the middle of the summer. My parents had left for that weekend due to a work trip, which meant I was all, all by myself for the weekend. Also, I feel like I do have to mention that my sleep schedule was really messed up around this time. I would sleep and get up and just about uh, any time of the day. Uh, though I did plan on fixing that. Okay, that's a pretty simple story, I guess. Oh, what's happening here? Uh-oh. Did someone break in into the house? Wait, when are you guys gonna go back? Wait, I don't think I s I'm supposed to be just like... Oh, it's an alarm clock, bro. I really thought it was like a, an alarm or something. Woke up around 8 o'clock. Okay. Messages from mom. Wait, when are you guys gonna be back? Uh, Dad and I are gonna be back on Monday. Didn't I tell you that yesterday? Cool. Take care, honey. Sleep on time. I hope uh, you'll get the Xbox like you promised. <laughs> I mean, hey, if you get that discount, can I uh, invite Mason and Josh over for the night for homework? Of course you can. Call me if you need anything. Make sure uh, to check it's them on the door before opening it. Check through the blinds. Take care, honey. Sure thing, mom. Dad and I uh, may be back by Sunday evening. Why are you being so paranoid, mom? I'm 14. <laughs> yeah, grown up. Adult life. Anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna take a little nap. Probably gonna order some pizza. Yes. Okay. Mason Oliver. Yo, yo. So, uh, you coming to Jessica's tomorrow? Yeah, I heard Josh is coming too. My parents are out. Uh, you wanna come over for the night? I'll let you know. Okay, so the parents are out. Invite some friends over. And mom specifically said not to open the door to anyone else. Make sure that it's actually uh, your friends. Hmm. I did have homework that night, but I was too hungry to do it <laughs> right after waking up. Fair enough. Ooh. Uh, no need to order anything. Already made you lasagna this morning. Check out, check the fridge. Oh, that's sweet. Don't ask me why, but I went straight to my <laughs> parents' bedroom. I mean, I had to check, right? Seems like the coast is clear. I don't see anything suspicious. What's up, as usual, with this... Um with this soundtrack. Uh, lasagna, is this it? Ooh, yes. The food was cold. Oven. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, that looks yummy. Okay, I guess that's done. Food was already warm. Um, okay. 
Where do you wanna eat it, my bro? Let me guess, you wanna watch TV or something with it. Yeah, that's so. Okay. Yeah, to watch TV, you actually have to turn it on. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's one of those again. Right, enjoy your lasagna, bro. How do you eat it without any fork? I was already feeling very sleepy after eating the food. Bro, you just woke up. Okay, so what? You wanna go back to bed? <laughs> okay, take... I ate the whole lasagna. I can't promise, dude. Might have plans with, uh, with Nat. We're gonna have to call it off, man. Something just came up, but you gotta come to Jessica's tomorrow. Okay. So, since my friends are not coming over, I guess I there's no need for me to be expecting anyone. I remember I had to finish up my homework. Okay. I'm sorry, Miles. Gotta see you tomorrow. Twelve thirty-eight. Uh, I got done with the homework for the day in about a few hours. Homework was done. I was off, I was off to bed. I have a feeling something is not right, bro. Don't don't stand up late, you kids. Uh, I shouldn't get to hear from Mrs. Polo this time. Yeah, poor guy. I always close my door before going to bed. Okay. One sixteen a.m. I got up to get some water. That's random. Why is there a radio there? Um, anyway. Okay, the water is downstairs. Can I turn on the lights or something? Or just get some cold wire from here? Ball wire? Yay! Okay. Ah, sounds refreshing, bro. Okay, I guess that's enough. Who's that at the door? You there? What? Wait. How... 
How is the mom sending pictures? What the fuck? Oh, or or someone actually sent the picture to her. Paula sent me. Uh, said she's been uh, creeping through the windows. We're gonna uh, we're gonna have to call the cops. You kids lock every door and hide in your room. Don't answer the door, no matter what he does. What the fuck? Bro, as I tried peeking through the blinds, he looked straight at me. I felt my heart skip a bit. What the fuck? Bro, 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 I didn't mean to. No! <laughs> I really didn't mean to, bro. I thought I could interact, I could ask him, like, to go away or something. Alright. Oh shit, every time it scares me. As I try peeking through the blinds, he looks straight at me. Oh shit. Oh shit. Bro. I felt my heart skip a bit. Bruh, this time I'm gonna hide in my room. Um... Where can I hide though? Okay. Don't answer the doors, no matter what he does. Oh shit. Nah, -uh, bro. He literally broke in, right? It's Paula at the door. Do you hear her? It's uh, Mom's so sorry, honey. Everything's gonna be alright. Bro, something tells me it's a bad idea to go outside and check. Bra? No. No. Just no. God help me. What the fuck, bro? Should I just run? And open the door? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you little shit. Oh. My spire sense is tingling, bro. Nah. -uh. There is no way. Lily, Lily, Lily. Bro, no way, bro. There's no way this time. No way. Please help. Call nine one one. Nine one one, bro. Okay, thank God. Jesus Christ, does that mean... Happy end? A game by rail. Yeah, 
well, I mean, this was his, uh, this developer's first game. Um, it still has a nice touch, I like the vintage graphics. Obviously, the game scare, uh, uh, sorry, the jump scare just, um, eh, still got me. The story is very simple, it's very short, but then again, it was episode one. Uh, good game, what can I say? 